Hey everyone and welcome. So as you all heard, the Orion Classic 2021 official competitors list is out. And the competitor that is surprisingly missing is Rolly Winkler. The good news for Rolly's fans is that the beast is back in Oxygen Gym, Kuwait. Guys always talking. I got my I got the gym for myself. Listen, I got oxygen for myself. Check this out. And he will be training to win the Olympia title this year because let's be real about it, Roly is 43 years old now and who knows how many years he has left in him to compete at the top level. So it's now or never for Roly's shot to win the Sandow and the thing is people just forget about him so easily. Roly has beaten all the top competitors at one point in his career and his 2018 version was just off the charts. Let's see what the beast brings to the table this year. Other than Cedric McMillan who has never nailed it 100% in his career, even though he is always better at the Arnold Classic than the Olympia. I don't see anyone stopping William Bonac from winning his third on classic title. His physique is just too complete for the competition and it's nice to see that the defending champion putting everything on the line on this occasion because William has to peak twice in a period of two weeks. Yes, Akeem Williams has improved a lot over the last year. And the news is circulating that he will do Puerto Rico Pro in less than two weeks to earn his Olympia qualification and it's true that Akeem did crack top 6 at the Olympia in 2020. But keep in account that Sergio and Steve Kokolo both were not there and the last time they competed against each other at the Arnold Classic 2020, Akeem was beaten by both of them. And as professional bodybuilders, we expect that Steve Kokolo and Sergio Oliva Jr. both made some improvements since last year. So don't be surprised if both of them are among the top 4 at the Arnold Classic 2021. And it seems like they have some bad taste in their mouth because people stopped talking about them since the Arnold 2020. And the new guys like Nick Walker and Ian came in and stole all the hype. Now let's talk about Classic Physique official competitors list. On paper, it's Alex's show to win as he is the defending champion. Although Terence did beat him at the Olympia, we have to take into account the fact that Terence is recovering from surgery and it's only his second week back to training. It's the perfect time for Logan Franklin to make some noise just before the Olympia and solidify himself as a future Mr. Olympia title contender. And just when people thought that his recent picture of front double bicep in which he looked damn impressive was photoshopped, Logan put up a posing video to prove them wrong. And we have to admit that it's extremely impressive progress since the Olympia. Good thing about Logan's game plan is that we're gonna see a finished package in less than 9 weeks at Texas Pro. Another guy who I'm very excited to watch at the Ornette is Brian Jones who has been on continuous grind since his 5th place last year. His glaring weakness is the lack of separation in legs and almost non-existent calves. This is his recent posing update. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.